while I've enjoyed covering the WNBA, even though I took some time off uh, a couple of years ago, I'm slowly inching back now that I have all these new platforms with uh, Spotify and all the new stuff I'm doing. But the one thing that I, I really like these in-depth conversations where we get to hear stories you don't always have time for when you're playing because, well, you know how it goes. You have your practices yeah. and then you talk to media for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And I'm fine with that. I've gotten plenty of stories with those windows, but it's like, yeah, I, I wrote for two sites that uh, since folded Excel sports and full court and all of their articles uh, were erased. So you can't access them on any search engine. And I'm like, well, there's a, that's a lot of stories that we're missing out on. So I kind of started this as a way to archive it so that um, no matter what happens with my writing career and elsewhere, um, yeah, at least with YouTube and Spotify, it's easier to save or I don't have to worry about what happens if the sites go away. So that's what led me to do it. And it's like the more I've covered the league, the more captivated I've become with all of your stories and so many other players. And I thought, yeah, let's have some fun and get to know these players because I'm sure you had a lot of fans as an athlete, but I've ever since I started doing this uh, on a full-time basis, uh, my goal is how do I make these players relatable? Like (laughs) you guys are more than your stat sheets. So. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And sometimes people don't get to see the other side of us. Um, So to give an opportunity for us to share our story, I'm pretty sure all of us um, appreciate it. Um, The thing is, People don't understand that everybody has the story. Basketball is just a platform or the tool, the avenue that you have to take to share it. Um, But each one of us have a love for the game, but was driven by other things that, you know, helped us in our game. But we're so much more than the round, the round orange basketball. And I think you're seeing that now, like. Uh, putting your voices with our voices, making the voices being heard, and making the stands, uh, standing up and speaking out for what it is that, that you believe in. I think um, I think people are starting to see that, and I hope that they're paying close attention to it because I don't see it stopping anytime soon. And to go off what you said, too, I think of Diana Tarazi, your former teammate, how right. I, of course, live in Minnesota, so she is one of the athletes Lynx fans love to hate. <laughs> and I understand why, you know, Diana certainly has a demeanor about her that no, few other players have, but I got the chance to interview her many times in locker rooms. And it's like the Diana, you see it. every time I've had to approach Diana for a story, she's always been welcoming and courteous, respectful, and right. not afraid to speak her mind. So as I've said to other folks, she knows when to turn it on and when to turn it off. Um, there are some players who don't quite Here's the thing, though. The Diana that you see is Diana. The only thing that you get to see a different side of Diana, the competitor side, is the side that people love to hate. Diana's an absolutely amazing person. Uh, You learn, you can learn a lot from her, Um, especially in the game of basketball, how to have fun and enjoy the game while competing and competing at the highest level. Like, that's the thing. That's the beauty of an individual. There's so many different sides. And that's the one side that people knows about Diana and they may not like it, but at the end of the day, she's a winner. So that is deep and that's really her. Like she's, they get the competitive side, the pet, the side that you got is also her because she, she is a people's person. Yeah. And that was my point. Like, yes, she is competitive, but it's like, if you guy, and I, it's different when you're a fan versus a media member, but it's like, when you get the chance to see these players, it's like, okay, I can tell like, who are competitors, but also just who is genuine. I've run into some athletes where they kind of wear their emotions or they don't really know how to separate right. themselves. That's what I was getting at. Uh, but no, Diana right. is one of my favorite interviews and I'll be sad when she retires just because you just, you know, you're going to, whatever you get, it she's going to be authentic and not every right. player is like that.